If you've watched any of my thrush with me, as you know, I hate pants. This is the end goal that they will create. But it has been a productive morning already. We're not talking about the SHOT because he doesn't even realize that that happened. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they were that good. <laughs> This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel I the kids through that experience as best as we could I want to believe that we gave her a chance when she maybe wouldn't have had one it is the anniversary of my grandfather's passing. Good morning, happy Monday. I'm gonna try to do a week in the life of vlog this week. And so it is Monday morning and we are kicking things off. I am feeling a little bit under the weather today. I was sure to get up, do my workout and try to make sure my energy was as high as it could be for the day. And now I'm here at work. And so far this morning, I have accomplished getting my day ready. I have assigned IXL skills for my students and I differentiate it so that different kids get different skills assigned to them. So that's been taken care of. I've got my morning meeting message and our activity and all of that planned out and ready. And I've also made a dentist appointment for my youngest. So it has been a productive morning already between working out, prepping for the day, getting a dentist appointment scheduled, all the things. Tomorrow's filming might look a little different. I'm gonna continue to film the week, but I think I'm gonna need to take the full day off tomorrow because my youngest does have a dentist appointment, as I just mentioned, and it's kind of urgent. So it was a uh, get them in as quick as we can kind of thing. So I'm gonna get going with the day. I'll see if I can check in with you at lunch. It might happen, it might not. I have lunch duty today, so that means I'm only a half an hour off. So we'll see what happens. But let's go, it's time to get the kids. I'm prepping some of my sub plans for tomorrow and the kids are gonna be working on a project called the World Craftivity. So I'm putting together some resources for them because they're going to need to label the hemispheres, the continents and the oceans of our world on this activity. It's a pretty cute one. This is the end goal that they will create here, so. They will not finish it in a single day, of course, but that's gonna be their end goal. And this is from, just so I can give credit to the creator, this is who created this resource. And um, it, I think it's still available on uh, Teacher Pay Teacher. So teachers pay teachers, but that is what they're gonna to start tomorrow. It's a little risky to start a project when I'm not here but they have been briefed. I did show it to them this morning so that they have an idea of what to do. And I've left some pretty good notes, I think, for whoever my guest teacher is. And that is going to be their content work. And then I've put together their math work as well. So it feels good to know that I'm gonna get the plans all together and situated today before I end up leaving. Okay, now I am grabbing my lunch that I just heated up. I'm gonna go eat with my colleagues and then I have lunch duty in uh, 17 minutes at this point. So I'm gonna eat a little food, do some lunch duty, and then I'll be able to finish my guest teacher plans after that because the kids have a special. We are at the halfway point in the day. It is prep time for me. So during this chunk of time, I am going to one, finish my sub plans for tomorrow, two, work on report cards because those go home next week, and I definitely want a time to finish all of that but before my prep period is over. So those are going to be my focuses and in that order as well before my students come back. And also a coworker and I were just talking about colorful koala leggings. They are what I wear every stinking day, like right now. I have on this lovely pink pair. Maybe that wasn't the best shot at them, but absolutely love them. And on the day that I'm filming this, they happen to be on a deal on Amazon. They probably won't be by the time that this is up and you see it. But if you look at them and then like favorite them or add them to your cart and then hit save for later or whatever on Amazon, then they will definitely be on deal again. I do know that they go on deal like at least a couple times a year. And oh my gosh, they are the best leggings. Do you wear them? Do you have them? I love them. They are my 
favorite leggings of all time. They're pretty budget friendly overall, especially when they're on deal and they're just so comfy. I live in them. I live in them. I hardly own any jeans. If you've watched any of my thrift with me, you know I hate pants, but I do not hate my leggings. I love my colorful koala leggings. But anyway, let's go get those sub plans done and then work on some report cards. I was about to go hop in the shower and I realized that I never really said goodbye for today. So I'm feeling like pretty gross at this point in the day. Just really nasally, been super sneezy today. Definitely have some kind of cold going on. So I'm glad that the day is coming to an end and I'm just gonna go take a nice warm shower and then get myself to bed and get myself up in the morning. I'm gonna try and do my workout again. I did get my run in this morning. I did a 5K and I'm glad that I did because I think I would have been just like even less energized if I hadn't, which sounds a little bit maybe strange to some, but for whatever reason, my body is wired in a way that when I stick to my routine, which is working out in the morning, I am more likely to have a good amount of energy for the remainder of the day. So I would like to try to do that again tomorrow morning, even though I'm not feeling great, it still seems to really help versus um, hinder me. So I will continue to try to do that. But as I mentioned earlier, Colin has a dentist appointment tomorrow. I'm really not sure what to expect. I think up until this point I'd had in my head that they would just be, if it is a cavity, oh, I don't think I said that part. We're concerned that he has his first cavity. Oh no. I hear my little man crying actually. I'm gonna go check in on him and I'll be back. He shouldn't be awake. My poor little guy, he just was waking up because he really needed to go to the bathroom and it was one of those situations where he hadn't been asleep for all that long. And so waking up was really upsetting to him. And so he just was like kind of awake, but not totally awake. And anyway, he wasn't very pleased, but I have helped him go to the bathroom and he's back in bed. And now the dogs are barking because Brandon is arriving home from teaching his Monday night night class. So <laughs> the evening, though I would really like it to be winding down, doesn't seem like it's actually doing that after all, but I think we're getting there. We're getting there. So anyway, I left off today after my prep time. I was able to get all of my plans done for tomorrow. I was able to begin my report cards, which was great. Felt good to start on those, knowing that they are gonna go home with students next week. And that was really wrap on the day. After that, it was back to teaching. I taught my second math lesson of the day and then the students went off to win time. We do something called win time, which is uh, stands for what I need time. And it's really neat. Uh, I'll just briefly explain it because you are probably curious now that I mentioned it, but when time is a period of our day, so last half an hour of our day, all of our specials are done for the day. No pullouts are happening or push-ins or anything like that. And we take the entire student body population as well as almost every single adult staff member in the building. And we have taken the different strengths of the adults and created these mini groups for kids to go into. And uh, so I, one of my preferences is of course math because I'm a math teacher, but fractions in particular. So I run a fractions group and I have six kids in that group and it's wonderful to have a nice small group. I have kids of all different grade levels. Well, we're just a school of three to six. So all different grade levels within that span and uh, we're just, these kids were assigned to my group by their homeroom teachers based on their needs. And then we have other academic groups. We also have enrichment groups for kids who would benefit from that. We have um, social skills groups and things like that. So we just have a ton of different groups. We were able to capitalize on all of the different strengths of the adults in the building and um, make sure that the group sizes were nice and small because we're pulling in all of our support staff 
and our principals participating, our office staff are participating, just almost every single adult is participating and therefore the group sizes can be nice and small. So that is a wrap on win time. It's something that we're trying for the first time this school year. There have definitely been kinks along the way. I can talk more about it if you're super interested. So um, if you wanna know more about win time, just leave any questions that you have in the comments and I will do my best to answer them for you. But that is what that is all about. And with that, I think I'm going to wrap up tonight's portion of this vlog. So this has been Monday in a nutshell. I don't know if I will make it on for as long on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but we'll see. I'll do my best. As you know, tomorrow I will be out with my son as we go to the dentist's appointment. Oh, and what I was saying is I, up until this point, we're fearfully as a cavity. And up until this point, I have had it in my head that we're going to go. And then the end result will be a solution to his tooth pain, whether it is a cavity and that means it needs to be um, filled or if it's another issue. But in my head, I've had this idea that we will have a solution by the time that we leave. And then um, a few other people that I've talked to as support options about this have mentioned other like pediatric dentists. And so it came to my attention or I made the realization, I guess, that I don't actually know that they'll for sure be able to solve whatever the problem is tomorrow. So. Oh, Flufus is here and Hank is here and Brandon is here. And so What's that? this oh, is, an, I'm doing a week in the life vlog this week. And so this is me saying goodbye for Monday. Now you need to come and pop your head in because everyone's going to want to see you and know that I'm not just talking to myself. So come like- You're talking to yourself. You need to be, all right, well, here's Brandon. He's here. He's arrived home from his night class, like I mentioned. And now Hank and Holly are heading to bed. But Hank is not really being a willing participant in that. So to wrap things up, I'm just not sure that they're actually going to be able to take care of whatever it might be that's going on with Colin. So I'm fearful, I guess, that we may just end up like going and they might say, yeah, it's a cavity and then referring us to a pediatric dentist. I really hope that that's not the case. I hope that they're able to take care of it at our own dentist, but um, only one of our other children has had a, an actual cavity and it was a very surface level cavity. They didn't even need to be numbed or anything like that to take care of it. So we really have not dealt with this. I unfortunately have very weak teeth and I was so hopeful that the kids would all get Brandon's teeth, which are much stronger than mine. And it seems like maybe that's the case for our older two, but uh, it seems like Colin might be taking after my side of the family with the weak teeth. So I'll update you though. I'll let you know if it is a cavity or what comes of that. Um, time will tell, I guess, but that's a wrap on Monday. I will see you tomorrow on Tuesday. To see the horizon and the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my Are done at the dentist and I have got to say this boy was such a rock star he did amazing the dentist who worked on his teeth said that he might be the top five-year-old that she's ever worked on he did such an amazing job listening following directions and advocating for himself putting his hand up when he needed them to take a little break and we have um, teeth that are no longer gonna be in pain how did you feel about everything Colin Good, and I got this. Hold it closer to this side. Tooth. Yeah, he got this eraser tooth as a prize. He's really excited about that. And then he got this sticker that's on his shirt. And now we're gonna go to Walmart and he's gonna get to pick out a little toy because Mama mm, is Please, can so I get proud. one of those toys? I'll have to look at them and you'll have to show me which car you're talking about. Okay.
Let's go. I always wanted <laughs> one of those cars. Okay, so that's our plan now, and then we're probably gonna get some food, and we're gonna go over oh, and see. Can I get a McDonald's? Maybe. And we're gonna go over and see Daddy and tell him how good Colin did. And my lip hurts, but not hot. Just feels weird. Yes. Yeah. His lip feels weird because he has the numbing medicine on this side of his mouth, so it's feeling a little funny. So we're gonna be extra careful not to chew on this side of his mouth. Cause it will look scary. Yeah. If he bit his cheek, then it could look scary after, and it could hurt. So. What? But his dentist said that he did a really good job telling us. And there was a hole in my tooth. There was. I took a little video of that, so they're going to get to see the hole in your tooth. Yeah. All what? All the, the doctors? Yeah, the people who watch this video will get to see. Uh, yeah. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> You're so silly. Yeah, your face still looks normal, even though it feels funny. <laughs> and his dentist says that he did an awesome job letting us know as soon as his tooth was bothering him. She said that a lot of times by the time kids realize to tell their parents that they are having tooth pain, it's a pretty bad cavity. But in this case, they were not horrible. And uh, I say they because it was in between two teeth, so it was mostly in one tooth, but it was starting in another tooth as well. And I'm she was so able to take sad. care of both of those today. And she was able to use the adult material to fill his tooth, which is, I, she didn't say this, but it sounds like it's probably a little better for the tooth, but they do have something they can use on kids who are not able to sit still for as long. But he was amazing. He was so calm throughout the whole thing and just, absolute rock star so uh, that hold on buddy blew me away I can't even say how surprised and thankful I am that everything went as well as it did so that is behind us he has a regular cleaning coming up next week actually and they are gonna check the other side because she briefly looked and said that there might be some stuff starting over there and I don't have great dental insurance unfortunately so that was a pretty expensive experience but is necessary we got to keep those teeth nice and healthy he's gonna have them for a while so that's where we're at but let's head to Walmart now into Walmart where Colin has chosen a couple of little treats that he's quite excited about. Colin, what did you get? I got a pie He got a little robots, robotic, robot type spider. And then I got these. And what are the, I think those are called Bakugans or something. And now he's all buckled and he's working on opening his spider. We're gonna go get some McDonald's for lunch. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, you said we are gonna get McDonald's for lunch. Oh, okay, I didn't know if you heard me. And also while we were in there, I got um, a Rubik's Cube for Eli. He had one years ago and it went missing and he's sad about that. And then I also found them, the kids, his them, who I'm referring to, some, um, not, not Starburst, Skittles, Skittle, flavored candy canes. Um, Eli does like mint and I think Charlie has accepted it in her older age, her eight year old age, but Colin does not enjoy mint candy canes. So found those, they were 58 cents a piece. So I grabbed those for them. Do you need help getting it out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll help you in just a second. So I don't think well, I know I didn't mention anything about the morning other than when I jumped on and started talking about how the dentist visit went. So the morning was wild. I did not get up in time to work out. I was very tired. 
And when my alarm went off at six, which is a little later than I normally get up on an actual work day, I hit stop on that, not even snooze. I just hit stop. And then I did not set any other alarm. And so I did not wake up until like 7.35. And then I went, oh my gosh, I have got to get up. I need to have the kids at school in an hour. So got out of bed, got ready real quick, hit the road, got the older two to school, got to Colin's dentist appointment on time. And that's how our morning started. So, um, and I'm sure you can hear it, but like very congested is how I'm feeling. Very nasally. There's a lot going on here. And I'm thankful for the day off, partly so that I can rest. And then of course, so that I could be here to support Colin. And he did amazing. And as it turns out, we probably could have only taken a half day and not the full day, but that's just something that you don't know with situations like this. And I wanted to not have that pressured feeling of like needing to get back to work. So really thankful I took the whole day and that way I can get some additional rest in and I can just spend some time with Colin. You got it out? Let's see. Oh my goodness. Crazy. He saw that spider over a month ago, I would say, and really loved it then and he's remembered it so he was quite passionate about wanting to get that spider today as his treat and so that is what we did the box was pretty mangled looking and it was the last spider we could not Mom, find any others this? this is too big for the trash can you're right it is thank you for being responsible you can put it on the floor thank you we'll get it when we get home so yeah we're gonna go over to McDonald's, I'll get him a little something to eat. He's still talking about how his cheek and his uh, chin area and stuff are feeling numb. So he knows to be careful when he's chewing. And then we're gonna go over and see Brandon at work before we head home. And we'll just be home for a little bit before we go pick up the big kids. So that's an update on things. And I'm just so proud of him. I'm reflecting on that whole dentist appointment experience and it honestly could not have gone better. It was, fantastic from start to finish. I was very apprehensive. I was trying not to let him read into that emotion and he just blew me away with how well he did. And then also the dentist, she was fantastic in how she handled him. She did such a nice job explaining everything to him, showing him all of the tools, explaining how they worked so that there was nothing that he was unaware of. She took it slow. She told him, if you ever raise your hand and you want me to stop, we'll take a break. So just overall a fantastic experience. I'm very thankful that it was a situation where we went in and we were able to get the solution to the situation before we left and that it wasn't just like a, hey, here's a referral to another place kind of thing. So very, very thankful. Yes, I will grab that and put it in the trash for you. don't put this in the trash because I like it. Okay, so that's how things are going so far today. And I forgot to mention, Colin's gonna call Gigi, my grandmother now, because he had called her when he got out at the dentist and she was in the bank, so she didn't have the chance to really talk to him. But she said, why don't you call me after you go to Walmart and tell me what you got at the store? We were talking about her when we were at the dentist because she has some fillings too, but hers are gold. And so Colin was wondering if his fillings would be gold or if they were silver or if they were metal at all. And so he had Gigi on the brain and He's gonna chat with her now that he has left Walmart so he can tell her about what he got for prizes at um, Walmart. And I'm gonna go, like I said, get some McDonald's. Colin is really excited about his dudes that he got, his spider, and then this Bakugan. Bakugan, um, we got the butter claw one. And I thought it was two at first, and so did he, but actually they connect together to make this one. And let me show you what it should. <laughs> you hit the air in the back again. He's sitting on the center console and he keeps hitting the air setting back there with his foot. If you drop it like right here on this, I think it will pop open. Oh. <laughs> nope, it just went down by my foot. Okay, let's start it. You hit the air setting again, Colin. <laughs> Colin! Oh, 
Colin, <laughs> are you doing it on purpose? No. Oh my gosh. Just drop it right here. Oh, no. oh I think you have to drop it on that part. Yep, that's how you do it. So that kind of flat part right there in the black section, you drop it on that part and then it pops open. And then this is what it looks like when it's all opened up. It's cute. We're just waiting on our McDonald's order now. Wow, from the dentist? That's a pretty crazy toy for a dentist. No. No, not from the dentist. Where did you get those? It doesn't even look like they... Oh, maybe. Can I... Here, look, me... No, okay. You want to tell Daddy how it went? Did they have to use some tools? Yes. Yeah? Did it hurt? Whoa, whoa. We're not talking about the SHOT because he doesn't even realize that that happened. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they were that good. <laughs> oh, did they rub some like stuff, numbing stuff on it first? Yep. And then we talked through it so he had no idea. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Well, something's got to give today. It's a good here to say good night on this Tuesday. I realized that I never properly said goodbye for today. So that is what I am doing. It is pretty late at this point. I've got a little one in my bed doing a tiny bit of editing before I actually close my eyes for the night. Um, but each of my kids ended up having some big feelings tonight all over different things. No big life events or anything like that have happened, but just each child individually had some different emotions and so I spent some extra time snuggling each of my babies tonight and just reminding them of how special each of them are and now it is time to get to bed and get up in the morning. I have a staff meeting at 7 30 so I'm pretty sure anyway I'm gonna double check when I'm done with this outro for today uh, but that means that it'll be hit or miss on whether I get a workout in. I would love to but we'll see. So I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday. I would say good morning, but it is already afternoon and I'm just picking the camera up to chat with you on this Wednesday. It's been a busy morning so far. I had a 7.30 a.m. staff meeting. I did not wake up to my alarm. I was up at 4.30 with Colin. He needed to go to the bathroom and then I slept through my alarm. So I was up a little later than I wanted to be, which meant I was rushing to get to my staff meeting on time. I was about five minutes late and um, from there the day began and the kids arrived and plans changed and we've just been going with the flow and it seems like this is kind of what happens once you get get to Wednesday things get a little bit crazy if you will so it's been a busy Wednesday we'll put it like that and that is why I am just touching base with you at a little afternoon but that's where we're at so far we've got the afternoon to get through and we shall see how that goes it is time to say good night for this Wednesday. I am very happy that this day is ending. Unfortunately, it just has been, it's been a day. We, um, we ended up experiencing some loss here in our family today. Our guinea pig Maeve, uh, passed and that was hard. It was hard, of course, because we are all animal lovers in this family, so losing any pet, big or small, is painful, and um, we just wish that, of course, she could have lived forever, but that's not realistic, so 
we guided the kids through that experience as best as we could and uh, they were each able to spend a little bit of time with her before she officially passed. We wrapped her up and they were each able to hold her and have a few minutes just gently stroking her fur and that was helpful I think to provide some closure right, and uh, in. I try to find the positives and in all situations when I can and I guess in this situation a positive of course we wish that she was still alive but a positive is that the area where we buried our bearded dragon a couple of years ago and the area where we wanted to also bury Maeve was still not um was still thawed was still not completely frozen the ground was not completely frozen and Brandon was able to dig a small hole but large enough for her because guinea pigs aren't all that big and she was able to join Oscar in that area of our yard and I'm I am thankful for that I'm thankful that we did not have to pursue figuring out what we would do if we hadn't been able to bury her that is how our evening was spent. Uh, I did get to spend a little bit of time reading with Charlie and that was important. And I'm glad that we got to have that time together. And now Fiona is adjusting to being the only little guinea pig in her cage. What's interesting to me too is that Maeve was, um, so we got them, we brought them home three years ago in October and purchased them at a pet store, a local pet store. And Maeve, I guess they have regulations or rules or protocols or whatever you want to call it about when a guinea pig can be kept or when they need to technically send it back to where wherever the breeder, I guess. And I can only imagine what happens to the ones that get sent back, but I don't want to go there right now, ever, but especially not right now. Um, but the woman who was helping us select our little piggies had said that Maeve was slightly under the weight that she should have been and that technically she should have gone back, but she seemed pretty bonded to Fiona, who of course was not Fiona at the time. But um, anyway, the the point of the story is that Maeve technically should have gone back and I hope I'm wrong, but I'm imagining that that would have been the end of her story if she had gone back. Um, and so I'm thankful that she didn't, that the woman said, I just fed her lots and lots, gave her lots of attention and tried to get her over that weight so that we could keep her. And she was close enough that she kind of like snuck her through, I guess. And then of course we were able to bring her home and give her the last three years. So I want to believe that we gave her a chance when she maybe wouldn't have had one and that we loved her and gave her everything we could during her time here. But anyway, that's an update on our day. It also is just a hard day because, um, it is the anniversary of my grandfather's passing 25 years ago. He was hit and killed by a drunk driver and, uh, both my grandparents, my grandmother and my grandfather were both hit but my grandfather took the brunt of the experience. He was hit first and then my grandmother was hit next. And so she is still here with us amazingly. She's a tough cookie and I adore her. The grandmother that I always go to Ikea with is this grandmother that I'm speaking about. She's just such an important person in my life. So I'm so glad that she's still here. My grandfather was an equally important person in my life. It's amazing the incredibly deep bond we had in just the eight years that we got to spend together before he left this world. Um, and even though it's been 25 years, I miss him so, so much. I have other family members that I've lost and that I loved and love and miss, but it's not the same as the love and the longing that I have to be with and see him again. So that was already something that was going on today so adding in losing Maeve it just 
Ugh. Lots of stuff today. That's it for Wednesday. Um, the school day itself was fine. <clears throat> still working on getting over this cold. I think I'm getting to like the less congested stage and now I'm doing more coughing. So it seems like it's like working its way out, which is great. But, um, the kids were good today. We had a good day together. They worked well. There were some, you know, crazy things that happened that, uh, Wednesdays bring at times it's the middle of the week and sometimes Wednesdays just get a little wild, but overall it was a good day and the kids did a nice job putting in good effort today and uh, trying to make really good choices. We did a little like stamina contest in the afternoon and that really motivated them. So that was a lot of fun to see. And that's Wednesday in a nutshell. So I will resume some vlogging tomorrow on Thursday and we shall see what Thursday brings. We're going to hope for just a low key day. That would be great. Low key on all fronts at school, at home, all of it. And that's going to be it for today. So I'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. Hey, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday and good night on this Thursday. I failed at uh, really picking up the camera at all today. So this is all you're going to get for Thursday. Hank is coming to bed. Holly is coming to bed. Brandon was just sorting some laundry and being helpful. And now he is going to bed. I'm going to go take a shower. I recently did my workout. I ran a 5k on the treadmill and I typically like to work out in the morning, but it just did not happen this morning. Just like it didn't the previous two mornings either. Worked out Monday morning, did not Tuesday at all, did not Wednesday at all. And then I got it in tonight. I'm going to try again tomorrow morning. We'll see. I could come up with all kinds of excuses about why I haven't been consistent this week. And the fact of the matter is, it's just life. We do our best, and sometimes our best means that even the plans that we really want to get to, we don't. So, anyway, today has been a more low-key day, so I'm really thankful for that. There were, of course, you know, little behaviors and things that happened at school, but overall, it was a fun day. We got to have a pancake breakfast from our local fire department this morning. That was really fantastic. The kids enjoyed that. And then we had our whole school celebration this afternoon for earning 2,000 of our little, these little tickets that we give kids as prizes. And the celebration was a whole school um, ice cream party. And that included teachers if we wanted ice cream. And this teacher wanted ice cream. So I had some ice cream as well. And that was really great. And the kids enjoyed it. And it was a fun way to celebrate them working hard as a whole school. So overall, a good day. I'm very thankful tomorrow is Friday. Sorry I wasn't more effective at picking the camera up today. But I did film a lot in the earlier parts of the week, like Monday, I think, Tuesday was my heaviest filming day so far, which makes sense because I wasn't actually at school, so I had a little more time to pick up the camera. And then I did talk a lot yesterday because we had a lot going on as a family, so that was more personal. And now we're on to Thursday. I feel like this is kind of how the week goes. Like you have more stamina for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, and then things really peter out as the week comes to an end. So here's your Thursday update. And I will see you tomorrow and Friday. Attention, citizens of Christmas Town! The Christmas store is open. You may come and visit. Decide who gets to go shopping first. Jingle I have a trivia question. Whoever answers it first. Jingle bell is found. That's also the trivia question yeah. is Christmas food. What is another thing? Watch out for oh, Randy's are falling down. Oh, We're staying up oh, waiting no. for seven oh, tonight. Yeah. No. He climbed down the chimney no. at the speed of light. No in it. While we're dancing around Thank the Christmas Nicholas. tree. Hugging and kissing just you and me. Carolers are singing outside our door. Lovely songs we all heard before. As they walk
fun evening of spoiling the kids with some holiday festivities. We finally found their little mini Christmas trees that go in their bedrooms. We looked for them last weekend and just could not find them, but thankfully we have found them this weekend. And also we found them. And also their advent calendars came in. Two of them were in already, but one of them just arrived today. Perfect timing because it is December 1st. So this is Eli's advent calendar. It's the Harry Potter Lego set. Very cute. Pops open like this. He's taken day number one out. Charlie has the Friends, the Lego version set. And I really like this set because there's a lot of diversity going on. We've got this character who is missing a hand. We've got this dog who is using a wheelchair. And I just really like that there are some different sorts of acceptance type things going on there. And then Colin has the Marvel set and everybody has gotten day number one out and now I'm knocking a sign down. So anyway, lots of fun getting to do their advent calendars with them and then also have them get to decorate their little personal Christmas trees for their bedrooms. We did it. We made it to Friday. The work week is done. It was a busy one. It was good in a lot of ways. It was challenging in a lot of ways. And I'm thankful that it's the weekend. Of course, there were challenging student behaviors at times. We experienced a loss in our family this week. So that was a personal challenge, but there were also so many moments that were fantastic and wonderful at school with my students, at home with my own kids and my family. And it's another week where we made some memories, but ultimately I'm very glad that it is now the weekend because I am teacher tired on this Friday night. I really enjoyed coming home tonight and knowing that tomorrow is a day off and we took a little time as you've seen to put the kids little mini Christmas trees up in their room. That was a lot of fun and to uh, get their advent calendars out and let them open their first item on those. So it feels good to kick off the weekend having accomplished all that we did this week. So that's that. It's a wrap on this week. If you have watched this entire video, thank you so much for joining me on this week in my life as a teacher and a mom and a wife and doing all the things. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. It really helps out my channel. And I would love to see you back for future weeks or days or weekends in the life and for whatever other content I put up on my channel. Thanks again for being here. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.